What's up guys, Junior here, and today we're bringing you the top five hottest wheel styles on the market. You're probably gonna recognize some of these. A lot of these are the most popular styles, so let's just dig right into it. Now, of course, this style is gonna be number one, the simple, clean, chunky, spoked wheel. Now, you guys have probably recognized Motor Metal, the Motor Metal 962 as being the first one, but we aren't sure who came out with which one first. We're just letting you all know that these all look the same and they're super hot and a lot of these styles are actually in our top wheels sold, top wheels in the gallery, top wheels that you guys love and for good reason. I mean, they're all super clean, super simple. They look good on almost any vehicle. So some of the ones I have around me here that you guys are gonna see all look the same is we've got the Soda AWOL, the Motor Metal 962, Motor Metal 962 two-piece, Scorpion SC20, there's the American Eagle 5128, the Gear Big Block is a huge one as well. There's also the Ballistic Rage, which we have here. We've also got the Red Dirt Road Dirt, all of them have the same style. It's all the eight spoke, all super clean and simple. Um, some of the companies are adding like the dirt has a little bit of a flare at the end and it's also got kind of an indent in the middle to kind of give it a little bit more characteristics, but it's all basically the same style, the same idea. Just each company has their own twist and take on it. Now the second style is super, super similar to the first, but well, you guessed it, the spokes are just tipped. Now most of these are not a true directional wheel, but a couple like the Fuel Forged FF02 and a few other Forge designs actually have two different sets, one for the left side of your truck and one for the right, so they're both going in the same direction. However, with all these cast wheels that I have in front of me here, they're all non-true directional, meaning that they're all tipped, but one side's gonna angle backwards, the other side's gonna angle forward on your truck. So just keep that in mind. This style is surprisingly way less popular than your standard straight spoke wheel, but companies are going after this just so they have a different style, a different design, a different twist. Ah! on the same styles I've been going after, and you're gonna recognize with these. So we have the Moto Metal Melee 988 here, and you can see that it looks identical to the Moto Metal 962, but the spokes are just tipped. Same story over here, we have the Ballistic Guillotine, and this one looks just like your Ballistic Rage, and it's just tipped. Then we've also got the XF205 here, which is the same style these other ones are running. And there's also like the Extreme Utter XM322, and then the Fuel Renegade, which are the same style, same design, same general idea that they're all going after. It's just a tip spoke to the classic clean straight spoke. Okay, so I guess the third style is basically similar to the first one, but it's same design, same concept, just thinner spokes. So if you're looking at these, we've got the Fuel Maverick and the Moto Metal 970 here. And then you'll notice that Fuel also has the Fuel Vandal, which looks very similar to the Moto Metal 970. However, it's got a split spoke, so it kind of takes the characteristics of their Maverick and a little bit of the 970's influence, and it's got their own unique twist and style on it that Fuel offers then too, as the Fuel Vandal. And between the Fuel Maverick and the Moto Metal 962, um, they basically both are playing at the top of the game right now because everyone wants a simple, clean design. This one's a little bit thinner. The Moto Metal 962 is a little bit thicker, but it's the same concept, same style, same design. Um, Fuel has a slight advantage because they have a two-piece version that Moto Metal just released as well for theirs, so they're kind of playing catch up on that. Fuel is able to go up to 24 by 16 with this wheel, which is what we have here, and it's got an insane lip, insane offset, insane everything. It's cool. And Motor Metal's trying to get there as well with their two-piece version, um, but we'll see. So that's basically the third one. Um, falls into the same category as the first one, but just slightly thinner. So the next wheel that's super popular across the board is the mesh wheel split spoke style. Now, depending on how you look at this wheel, you're either gonna see a bunch of Y spokes or you're gonna see a two-spoke split as you go down. And you can kind of see with the XF here that it really accentuates that and you can really see that it tapers down. Some of them kind of look more like a Y spoke and it kind of depends on how you look at it because it is what it is. With these ones, I kind of see the second one where it kind of pinches in as you go down. I don't really see the Y on this style. The next one we're gonna to bring to you is more of the Y style and you'll see the differences. Maybe you'll see the similarities. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But this is the XD Grenade, super popular mesh style. This one is a clutch off-road, same style and options. And then this is the XF211, and it's the same type of thing. And then Specialty Forged also has the SF009, which is the same concept and idea as all of these, where it's kind of the split spoke, pinch spoke. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's super hot, everyone's loving it. It's kind of styled from the car market into the truck world in the last couple of years and it's been super hot, super awesome, I love it. So the last style we got for you guys in the top five hottest styles is the, what I'm gonna call the Y split spoke style. Now this does look a lot like the other ones I just showed. I get it, it looks like the grenade, it looks like the XF211, it looks like all of those, but I see, so the way I'm calling this a Y split spoke and why I'm calling it a Y split spoke is because you can see the spoke actually kind of has a stem that comes off from the center cap and then it branches out. It's not like the XD grenades and all of them where it kind of just comes out right away. You can see there's a clear stem to the spoke and then it branches out halfway through. So that's kind of why I'm calling it the Y split spoke. You can take the SC19, which I have here in chrome, I have in black with red milling and I have in black and milling. And you can compare that to the XF211 and you can kind of see the similarities and differences between the two. They are still like the mesh style overall, 
This one I kind of call a Y spoke. There's a lot of companies running this. There's the Dropstar 645, which has the same style, the Scorpion SC19. There's also the Field Titan and the DWG Off-Road DW14, which have the same style. I would say the Y spoke to them. So that's kind of the fifth and final style as far as the top most popular styles that wheel manufacturers are going after. And that's all I have for you guys in the top five hottest wheel styles on the market right now. Leave a comment, let me know which one of these five you think is your favorite. I also wanna hear what other styles you think are out there that we should cover next. We can come back with a second episode with another five if you guys have them. I wanna hear your comments and thoughts on all of these. And of course, all of them are available on customoffsets.com. If you're looking at any of these, all of them are mentioned. Links will be below. There's gonna be a lot of links. It's gonna be awesome. That's all I got for you. Like, share, subscribe, peace.